hello guys in this tutorial we will be looking at how we can customize the backend logic of shopify using shopify functions let's see how the shopify functions work first of all we get some data using graphql pass that data as an input to the function and perform the business logic right here and then the function returns an operation depending upon the business logic and based upon that operation Shopify performs uh, some logic on the back end and the structure of operation depends upon the function extension target. Okay, let's see again. A uh, function has three parts input, logic, and the output. Input is a JSON object which is the result of GraphQL input query and it allows you to select the specific data you need for your function such as cart line or some meta fields and then we perform function logic based upon this data. We can use TypeScript javascript rust or WebAssembly to write this function logic and then this function returns an output and the structure of output depends upon the function extension target the input query will look like this uh, it will fetch the data in the form of json and we will perform some logic based upon this data after that we will return an output and the structure of output will depend upon the extension target for example if we want to apply some discounts we will be uh, returning an array of discounts array will have uh, the discount allocation objects okay guys now let's see the uh, life cycle of the function app developer creates and deploys the app that contains the function the merchant installs the app on the shopify and uh, configure the function then an api call is made uh, with the function configuration and the customer interacts with the shopify store and the shopify executes the function here is the visual form of the function lifecycle. Here are some function APIs that we can use right now. We can apply some discounts. We can customize the payments, uh, shipping methods, and we can also provide some validations on the cart and checkout. We can also group the products together to sell them as single unit. If you go to this link, we can see right here the available APIs, delivery customization API, order discount API, all these uh, functionalities are written down here. In this tutorial, we will be using this cart and checkout validation API. Okay, guys, if we follow this link, cart and checkout validation API, and uh, here we can see some example use cases. Like we can use this API to verify the age of the customer when proceeding through the checkout. We can also specify the quantity limits in a flash sale, and also we can validate a customer order. Now, oh, let's see the example for validating a card and checkout and in this example we will learn that how we can generate a starter code for the Shopify functions use the GraphQL to uh, define the input and uh, deploy the function to the Shopify platform reviews the logs of the functions the requirements are we should have a partners account create a development store with checkout extensibility preview enabled and uh, Shopify CLI with 3.5 49.5 or higher and if we want to uh, create some UI for the extension uh, we should start our app with a remix template node 16 or higher you should install the app on the development store with checkout extensibility preview enabled I already have an account with checkout extensibility preview enabled in the bottom left corner like this store is non transferable and checkout extensibility preview is enabled and now I'll be creating an app to install in our store First of all, go to the folder where you want to create an app. Then use this command. Name the app. I'll be naming this app as functions app. And I'll be starting with remix. Okay, guys. So now uh, all the dependencies are installed. Let's go to the folder. Open the app with the VS Code. And here is the basic structure of the app. Make an initial commit. Generate an extension npm generate extension yes i want to create this as a new app in the shopify partners account and uh, name this as it is and from here we have to select this cart and checkout validation function and uh, name as it is and i'll be using javascript uh, run the dev server and uh, install the app in our store select automatically update the urls and now our dev server is ready uh, press p to preview the developer console when i press the p it landed me right here to install the app 
and here we can see the boilerplate of the remix app this means that our app is installed successfully in our store so now let's work on the cart validation function okay guys here we have our cart validation function and in the source folder we can see this run.graphql and uh, we will we can define any of the fields that we want to perform our logic and in run.js we will be getting json data uh, depending upon the fields that we define here we we can define any of the logic depending upon this input data as a result we can return an operation and uh, in this cart validation uh, let's see what we can return in the function let's see this type function run result uh, we can return an array of errors in this function and uh, let's see the type of error if, if we press control and click on this definition in the api.ts file we can see the type of this function right here we have to return an array of function error uh, let's see the definition of this function error and uh, in the function error we have to define a localized message and the target where we want to show the message and in run.js we can see if any of the line item has quantity greater than one we will be returning an error message with a localized message that not possible to order more than one of each item we want to uh, show this message on the cart this is the default example uh, when we uh, create the cart validation function okay guys here we have the input and the output and uh, we have defined a logic and if we want to see any of the console log we can define the console log right here and uh, we will not be able to see this console logs uh, in the browser because this function is running on the shopify side and uh, we will be able to see these uh, logs in the partners account okay so now let's restart the dev server and we also have to enable this cart validation function in our store let's go to setting checkout and at the bottom we can see this checkout rules add a rule activate this rule go to the cart page of your uh, store and uh, refresh right here if we want to increase the quantity of any of the item we can see this validation message not possible to add more than one of each this is the same message that we defined right here and uh, now let's see the partners account in the partners account go to the app and in the extensions let's go to the cart validation function we can see the uh, run details this is the latest run and uh, let's see the details we got this input cart lines and in each line we got the quantity we try to update the first line item uh, to 2 and uh, in as a result we got this error message we got the cart lines from the input query and log them on the console uh, we can see the console log right at the bottom so in this way we can get the input define the logic return the operation and uh, also show the logs in the console of app i hope this tutorial helped you to learn some basics of shopify functions i'll see you in the next video bye bye